versus like the beginning of December. Beginning of summer? The, the beginning of December. Oh, December. I mean, Boogie wasn't there in December. But it, 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 you guys look like you're having more fun out there, more confident, like things are kind of clicking. I mean, we always have fun. Um, you know, just because we lose a few games, I mean, you know, shit is over for us. But, you know, just like any team, you go through stretches, but you add another all-star in the equation, you know, things are going to change. Do you guys enjoy that that challenge, trying to kind of get him going and keep him involved, Boogie? I mean, he's a Hall of Fame player. He can, he can figure himself out. So I think we just try to all bring, be the best that we can be out there and let Coach figure out the rest. Hey, Kevin, it's a game in January, but given the opponent, are there things in games like this that you can take away that might actually mean something in the playoff? We know all these players anyway. Yeah, but every, every game you guys play is a big game for the other team. Are there any games that you guys play that are kind of like bigger for you that you guys get more, more interested in? No. Um, I think it's always a good opportunity um, to get better every time you step on the floor, especially in the regular season. I think a lot of teams take that approach. Steve was saying that when you guys play some of the Eastern teams that you only see like once or twice a year, that it's a little bit something with teams that, that you might be able to see later on down the line that there's you know, maybe a little bit of something extra into it for you. I don't believe so. Okay. What, what is it about just how different the, the regular season playoffs are that you can't really I mean, uh, imagine playing a team four times straight in a week. Oh. That's, that's the only difference. Are the Celtics different for you guys? I mean, than other teams? Some of the teams seem to match up kind of. Well, I think a lot of teams are playing small, using a lot of length and, and shooting a lot of threes. And um, you know, so we, we, we face similar, you know, kind of you know, just rosters, you know what I'm saying? But as far as skill level, I don't think we face anybody as skilled as this team. You mentioned, you know, a lot of teams going small with Washington. Then the other night, you guys were kind of close to Cousins against Sam Decker. I don't think a coach is going to put a small board on Cousins anymore, so um, I don't expect that, but you know, good to see it, because we might see it in the future, but I don't expect it to happen. I mean, we all know what Cousins can do in the post. Do you think that'll force other teams to have to maybe toggle their lineups when they want to go? I'm sure that'll happen, especially in the playoffs. It's all about how you manage your lineup. I feel like uh, during that first half, um, I gave up a lot of plays. And we got one guy that's not on the same page with the rest of the team. Um, you know, the, it, doesn't just, it doesn't look good, you know. The film, it doesn't look good. So I got to be better coming in the games, throughout the games, in the games, and like uh, stand in front of my man, um, not getting a beat back door on cuts. Contesting that three-point line, boxing out. So uh, if I start that way, then I'll be able to kind of add into what the team's already doing. What do you think enables to put on to wear so many different hats? Whether it's starting when Marcus is obviously rehabbing, going back to what he was before. What enables him to kind of fit different roles? Uh, I just think that's his job. You just got to do what's, what's required out there. And uh, especially as a big, I mean, you're going to either be in the paint or you're going to be on the perimeter. And I think most comfortable in both places. So, can you do with being obviously now 11 years old? Players are saying that they might have a game after you. You want to be the next Kevin Durant or he has a Durant that game. How do you kind of take that with you? Do you feel like you're Like J. Cole said, I feel like I'm a middle child. Um, still, you feel young, but. 30 years old and black guys coming in at 18, 19, so it's a pretty weird place to be in, you know, but uh, I guess it's cool to see younger players better in the game after how I play it, but I don't even know what to think about it. I mean, is it, is it a trip of 10 years ago, you guys in that 10-year challenge, 10-year skill, you're in the league? It's not a trip, I mean, because I expected life to progress 10 years ago. 
it's still crazy, you know, I can just remember being drafted and going to high school and all that stuff, like it was yesterday, so but that's how fast life moves when you have fun. And that's the thing, I think the most important thing is you got players in the locker room that feel the same way. And I want the best for themselves and expect to go out there and play well every night and you know, hold each other to a standard of greatness every day. And uh, when you got your players and your coaches on the same page, and when we have games like last game, you know, point them out and see how we can get better without letting it linger and simmer for a long time. I think that's what good teams do. Is, uh, when, uh, when shit happens, you just correct it at the moment. What is unique about playing here at Boston TD Garden? What does unique feel every time you come here? It's tradition, but I mean, since I've been in the league, the tradition hasn't been like, you know, um, like it was in the 80s. But, you know, when, you, when the Celtics won the championship, since I've been in the league, it's just like we're still riding high off of just, you know, just the tradition in this building, you know what I'm saying? And how many players play in the league? How many moments you had in here? So, you know the crowd is definitely looking for that every time they come into this arena. The bird days, the, 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 the KG, Paul Pierce days, now you got a good young team. They're looking for something to cheer for. So, there's excitement every night when you come in. Kevin, when you shoot the ball, do you just uh, keep your eyes on the rim or do you watch the ball? Yeah. Oh, the rim. Did you ever experiment with ball watches? You know, some great shooters watch, but some don't follow it. Like who? Well, Steph and Clay follow the ball, but a lot of other great ones. Yeah, I'm so tall, and I feel like if I look at the rim, I mean the ball, I'll lean back a bit, and I'll take a little bit off my jump shot. So I just try to aim it at the rim and hold my follow through. Um, but I think it's going to be effective either way. Thank you, sir. Thanks, man.